Hi everybody, my name is Luda and I have decided to remodel the RV that we recently purchased. And so my very first project that I've started was reupholsterizing uh, the cushions. And so I thought I would take you guys along and share how I did it. So these are the cushions that came in the RV. And I will be using the foam from these cushions because they're still in pretty good shape. And uh, I've looked and they're pretty expensive if you want to buy them. Uh, so I decided to keep mine. Um, these are the ones I have already done. I'm not quite finished with them because I still need to do the back, which I'll show you how I'm going to do it. But for now, um, you just, you all you need is some material that you buy. I bought this from Hobby Lobby and just in the upholstery section. And then you'll need some, a stapler, some scissors, really thin plywood. I think it's, I think it's a 1A. I don't know. My husband cut out the shape. You want it just a little bit smaller than the cushion that you have. And then any kind of measurement. So I went ahead and I took the old covers off. Um, my cushion came with two pieces. So I just glued them with hot glue. It's not the best thing that's gonna hold them. I'm not looking for a permanent like strong hold. It's just anything that will hold it while I assemble it. Because when, once you tighten the material, it's really not gonna move. So it was just something for temporarily just to help me. See, I have it a little bit rounded and I'm fine with that. But these ones that I had that go on top over here, they came like with an arch. I didn't really like the look. These cushions are from the dinette table. So what I did, I laid them all out and I wanted to see how much if I had available space uh, to cut it and for them to still fit in pretty snug. So I measured it and I had some space because these cushions were really snug. Like you just have to really push them in there. So I had some room, so I did. I cut them off as much as I could. And then just to make it more of like a flat surface. So anyways, um, what I wanna do right now is I wanna measure how much to cut off because I'm not going to be covering the entire cushion. I want it to be like, you know, just a little bit. I'll still be covering the back side of the cushion anyways. So I just want to approximately measure how much I will need. So I'm going to measure this way. I'm just going to figure out how much I need by giving, uh, let's do about two inches on each side and remember you don't want a lot because you're still going to be pulling the, the fabric you want it really pretty tight on there so you'll end up having a little bit more but I'll do about two inches Just two, seven, seven, eight for me. so I cut out the piece of material that I need the size that I need any and this is optional I decided to go ahead and do this because my cushion comes up, comes with two pieces, and this will just make it feel more like a whole piece. So you want to just place it just on the top side. You don't have to go all around with it. Then place it down. The next step is to measure and make sure that you are pretty centered. So I made sure that my foam is pretty centered. And then you just place your, um, your plywood sheet. You might need some help with this one because you're gonna have to staple this material to your um, plywood. So I'll be asking for my kids to help me. the sides and these sides can be a little bit tricky right here I'm not going to be cutting anything off 
I'm just going to fold it and just, you know, staple it. On the smaller pieces though, on these smaller ones, I did end up cutting because it was a little bit too much material to work with. But how I prefer doing it, and I'm not a professional in no, in, in any way, um, I just, I fold this and then I would staple it right here. And then for the rest of the material, I just go straight off. Well, it's hard doing it by hand, but what I do is I would go just flat like this and just end up stapling. I personally like how this the, um, the corner looks like this, so I'll try to get you a closer look. And we're almost done, guys. We just have just a little bit left. We're going to do this finished look just to cover all of this bazillion million staples that I put in here. Um, you can leave it like this if you want to. It's gonna be on the bottom side anyway, so you're not gonna be seeing it. But if you still wanna take that extra step and make it a little bit nicer, then go ahead and do what I will teach you right now. What I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is how to get this finished look, This exact look. It just makes it look more of a um, store bought, more professional. So what you need is a, another piece of the same material. Cut it out just a little bit bigger than the plywood that you cut out because we're going to be folding the edges a little and we'll be gluing them um, to the wood part. Just so, so we're just going to follow the wood frame. That's correct. The wood edge. So let's get started. We will be folding this corner just like that and make sure you get it, you fold enough to your liking. Okay, just so that you cover all of the the folds and everything. So we're just going to do that. You can also glue this. It'll be a little bit easier if it's just going to just already be prepared for you. You can do that. Actually, you can do that with all the edges so that they're ready because what you will be doing is you're going to fold this and while you're gluing that, you're going to keep going and going and going. If you don't fold the ends here, then you're going to have a little problem because you have to fold edges first and then fold these. So it'll be good or better for you to go ahead and fold them before you start. Get them to where you want them to be, to your liking. Okay, and then you just kind of glue it there. Hold it for a few seconds. And that's it. Then you go to all the four sides. So figure out how much you need and then just slightly crease it already. Just press on it so you get that crease. You can also just iron it so that you get a better crease, but it still works. So once you go along and you just kind of crease it, you just have a guideline for yourself. Then go ahead and don't do this. Don't start gluing from here because then once you go all around, all around, you're gonna have to fold this. And if you glue it, it just kind of give you a little headache. Uh, so just start just a little bit off that. it down let it set 
And then just follow your guideline that you've done for yourself. Take a piece, just take a, pick it up and then just, you know, don't, don't, don't start gluing at all. Just go little by little. Pressing it down to get that, see, to get that sharp edge right there, which makes it look better. You don't want to have like this rounded edge. I mean, you could, but it, I think it just looks better, looks more finished. And then just keep going all around until you're finished. So once I get done with all of this, and I'll meet you guys over here, back at this corner. And that's it. Now you're done. You got it all nice and pretty. And hey, you know what? You can also look like a professional. I will continue doing the rest of my cushions and I will be doing the curtains next time. I have no idea how I'm gonna do them yet, but I'll try to come up with something unique and share it with you guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you guys next time.